Hello there, my name is Jessica Bieber, and I am going to be sharing my technology beliefs. I made this in Google Slides, but decided it'd be easier to look at it as a PDF so I could go to some different websites with you. The first question that was asked, are you confident in your abilities to use, implement, and teach with technology? Using technology, I have gained confidence by just trying a lot of trial and error. Um, and I also think that Google has an answer for everything. If I don't know it, I'm going to look it up and make sure that um, I do know it so that I can help my students in their technology experiences and also the teachers that I work with. For implementing technology, I don't adopt all technology. There are so many great things out there, but you can't do it all. I have decided that I need to become really good with the tech pieces that I'm passionate about and go with those. For teaching technology, technology is the future for these students. Start them young. I teach kindergarten and technology is a huge influence in our day. We're using it for our daily five, listen to reading, for our word works, we're typing sight words, we're using it in math, we're using it for science and social studies and everything in between. So it is something that is here to stay. So we need to use it with our students. Um, so that's where I, or how I use use technology to teach with it. Some different things that I um, use, implement, and teach with technology are my kindergarten blog, my Seesaw Learning Journal, using Remind, Twitter, and using my Google Classroom. For my kindergarten blog, this is a great place for my parents to come to if they need to know anything about our classroom. I've linked a widget for um, my Reminds and I've linked a widget for my Twitter, which both we will be talking about sooner or later. Um, they also have different widgets on the side for our classroom newsletter and Scholastic. And then it just goes on to um, link them to our newsletter, which I make in MailChimp so I can see who actually read my newsletter for the week. And I can add pictures about our 100th day and other things that we do in our classroom. So that is my blog for my parents. I also um, teach with Seesaw, and it is an online learning journal. This allows parents to see what their students are creating. We use the video feature a lot, like you can see here with my student. Um, we might have played a math game, so we can take a picture to document that. Um, I have students that can take pictures of what they're doing in math. They can write on the picture, and then they can record their voice and how they learned with it. We do this a lot <clears throat> for math and for our writing samples. So um, this gives me a great opportunity to share with parents so they can take a look into our room. And students have to prove that they're actually learning. They can't just put it on Seesaw without showing how they have learned and things such as that. Another piece of technology that I've implemented in my classroom is Remind. This is a great feature for me to stay connected with my parents. I think I would use it a ton if I was a high school teacher and staying connected with the students. I can let parents know about things. I can schedule them in advance in case I'm um, not able to say it right then and there. Um, and there's also a chat feature This is that is great to communicate with parents. Using Twitter in my classroom has allowed my students to become better, better digital citizen, citizens. Um, I just recently attended Ed Camp, so you'll see a lot of that on my Twitter. If you've never attended an Ed Camp, I strongly suggest to go. But one that I am looking for is my Tweeter of the Day. My students each have an opportunity to be Tweeter of the Day, and they get to take a picture of what they want to show Twitter and what we have done, um, things such as graphing our valentines, mystery readers. Um, this Clay decided that he was going to do his on the Seesaw project. So it takes ownership and being able to share with the world. And my last one that I teach with technology is Google Classroom. And this is what my students see when they get to Google Classroom. 
They have certain links, such as coding, which they're very excited about. They're typing their sight words, which they've started, and they continue as a working document. They have links to the math games that I want them to be participating in, and they are writing their numbers to 100 and things such as that. We're sending out cahoots. Google Classroom is something new to me, but I foresee it as something that I'm going to continue with very much so next year. Um, are there areas that I need to improve on? Absolutely. I'm never done learning. Taking that technology assessment was a little hard and it got to terms such as tech hardware storage options, internet speeds. Those are things that I am not familiar with, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't be familiar with. So that is where I need to grow. Um, and then I need to remember that I can never settle for just one application. There are times that I used kid blog for my students to write their journals and that was great for my first year but then my second year I've moved into seesaw and my students are able to type draw and record their journal rather than just with kid blog they were just typing it so I need to um, improve upon always looking for different options to integrate that technology into my classroom how have my previous experiences affected my current views in regard to technology integration? Um, I'm a young teacher in my building, so I feel that I'm often looked to as I should know this because I'm a younger um, teacher. And that has really pushed me to integrate technology into my classroom. It's kind of been that fire to get me going that if people have faith in me and they think I should know this, well, then I want to be the one to know this. Um, we have had a great experience with getting a TLC grant in our district, um, but the tech position was only created for the 512 grade levels and not for the PK4 grade levels where I am at. So because of this TLC grant and not having a tech position, I have been asked to do things at the um, elementary <clears throat> because we don't have one. And this has allowed me to be able to get technology integration into other teachers' classrooms and make them more comfortable with it. And my biggest experience is trial and error. You're never going to know if you don't try. That's my big belief. And the last thing, what would I like to accomplish and why? Um, one thing I want to come become more um, fluid with is the technology standards and how I can incorporate them into lessons. Um, and how they could be added into my lessons. I realize that not all lessons need technology, but most do. I think that I'm doing a lot of incorporating, but I'm not tying them to actual standards, which I think is very important. Um, I need to um, evaluate my role as a teacher and how my class uses tech. I need to allow my students to be the makers and movers in their learning. Um, I give a lot to the students and allow them to just investigate, and I think that's a great role, but I want to continue to push myself to keep doing that. And for the last thing I want to accomplish is to get to the transformative phase of technology integration. I want my students to have a say in their learning. A huge thing was my <clears> – I went to ed camp this weekend – and it was all about how the students should be able to follow their passions. You know, so yes, we are still going to teach to the standards and my kindergartners are going to know their letter sounds and they're going to be able to blend words together and add and subtract within zero to five. But how we get there doesn't always have to be the same. So that's where I want to take my technology integration. So these were my um, technology beliefs.